About a week and a half ago, I made a video of installing a UV light in my homemade humidifier to try and keep it clean in there. Now I know exactly what you are thinking. Boys have a penis, girls have a vagina. Not that. Anyway, let's take you through this and um, we'll show you just how well it did. So here's the container after about 10 days of use. Now the major thing I'm noticing is that when I used to open the container, the walls used to have a thick layer of algae growing around the water line. Now that's actually not present at all. So if you run your finger up the wall, you can't actually feel any algae anywhere. Um, the water is very dirty. Now you can actually see the crap sort of floating around in here. Um, two reasons for that is one that algae will still grow in here underneath the mister and it will get washed out. And when it gets washed out it dies and it just leaves this this crap in the water and two the mushrooms i've actually been growing one of the type i've been trying has an incredibly high spore load like 10 times higher than a normal oyster mushroom so it's actually really really bad for commercial growing so i've really stopped growing that now um, so that would have been pumping a few quite a few spores um, through the through the air and into this container but um we'll tip it out now and um and we'll, we'll see how just how, if I tip it out, how clean it is once it's all been tipped. Before I tip, one thing I will show you guys is that, um, let's see if we can get a focus here. In this corner here, some of these corners have these little bits of, of slime on them. And that's, the, the light was actually along here. There's a little bit down here as well on this. You can just see it just along this edge here. And that's actually right out of... The direct beam of the light and so you're getting these little algae colonies growing just where it's got a little bit of shade from that UV light which is quite interesting now I know what you're thinking you're thinking he's wearing crocs I'm gonna have to unsubscribe and never watch him again but I'll let you in on a little secret you see crocs are really really good for getting in and out of a mushroom fruiting chamber that has a wet floor really really fast last bit of fertilizer for the grass here we have it so it's been tipped out and it's actually really clean on the inside I mean, usually you'd have a thick layer of algae everywhere. There's a bit of, um, sort of stuff still on the bottom here, but I think with this a quick spray of the hose and a quick rinse, um, this will be good to go again. So, um, yeah, it will have cut cleaning time down substantially, but it, I thought it would keep that water a lot cleaner, but it hasn't. Um, but I will make another video of using I've um, got rid of those mushrooms that um, have that real high spore load so we'll check it again in another 10 days and see if it's um quite that bad this was the top side this is exactly how it was this is the top side of my fog you can actually see it's really clean which is amazing it normally gets covered in the, the algae growth but if we turn it over so that obviously the underside of this fog doesn't get hit with uv light so if we actually turn this fog over you can actually see on here you can see this me smearing it so that's an algae growth on the back side of it um, obviously where the UV light's not hitting and so it's um, starting to build up there so is it worth getting a UV sterilizing light and putting it in your uh, homemade humidifying tote tank I'm about 60% for yes 40% for no um, the good thing about it is it keeps that algae growth down and it keeps that bacterial growth down in there. Um, there's so much um, biological matter in there that algae does bloom really quickly. Um, but it can't get it all. It can't get that algae growth that's under that ultrasonic humidifier plate. Um, as it sits on the ground it creates a nice dark void in there um, where it still grows. And that still comes out and, and dirties the water. And um, the bad part about it is, is the fact that that water still gets really dirty um, so once a week anyway you're generally going to have to get that tank out give it a good rinse out um, and get it back in there the difference between the two yeah for cleaning wise is I used to have to scrub it really well 
and when I cleaned it before you could pretty much just rinse it off and um, and everything would wash off 